Welcome back to Short and Sweet, where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that we have the new Green River Rye. This is a 95.5 rye, and it's 95 proof. These stats are really easy for me to remember. Tell the people what 95.5 if they don't know. Oh, what that it's 95% rye and 5% malted barley. It gets a shorthand here in the 95.5. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a $35 SRP. Lots of fives, lots of nines. Easy yeah. to remember. Uh, they handpick barrels that are between four and six years of age and marry those together. Which so. for a rye is a nice age statement. I feel yeah. like we don't need our... It matures faster than it does mature bourbon. Faster. Um, but if you had to put an age statement on it, you'd just be able to call it four years because you can only report the youngest in there. But it is four to six years old. Oh, I like that nose. A little spice, a little fruit. Earthy. Yeah, kind of some herbal, vegetal tea. A caramely sweetness. Um, yeah, I almost wanted to say honey, but it's it's more caramel than that. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I can see where caramel. it's sort of whispering honey, honey at you. Yeah. Sure. And a lightness sort of like a marshmallow fluff or... Um, there is like a confectioner, confectionery element there, you know. Um, not powder. Is it powdered sugar? Like a, a, a really dark version of a pina colada also, sort of. Maybe you a don't pina colada that. gone bad. <laughs> No, I think what I understand what you're saying. I think it's like, yeah, that confectionery sweetness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the more I get into the glass, I'm getting a little bit more of sort of some savory notes in there too. Honestly, I'm getting a little bit of funnel cake, which is weird. Okay, could see that also. But that's yeah. enough nosing. That is enough nosing. Let's get to tasting to your health. I mean, really like all the notes that we said from the nose. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of there. Right, it tastes like if I was having like a cup of tea and a funnel cake outside on the, you know, veranda. deck during spring the or veranda. something. The veranda, sure, we'll call it that. Much like their bourbon, which I remember one thing I said about it is that it uh, drank uh, higher than its proof, which the bourbons, the wheat bourbon and the rye bourbon are both 90 proof. I'm sort of getting this, um, you know, this drinks like a solid 100 or so. For sure. And yeah. although that's only five proof points difference, like that's what I would blind, you know, I would say this was 100 proof. Before we go in for a second sip, okay. we want to pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the long sleeve that I'm wearing. Um, you can't get this there, but you can get this from Women's Trail. Nothing that you're wearing, Sarah. But the Glen Cairns that we are drinking from, all of our glassware, also all of our other uh, t-shirts, hats and hoodies and sweaters, bottle cut candles, our new elemental elixir cocktail syrup, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where you can get discounts on some of that merch that Chad was just talking about, depending mm. on your tier. You can also get exclusive access to barrel picks, opportunities to participate in barrel picks occasionally, and after the episode exclusives and more. Okay, second sip here. I had to spit mine back and I almost did. I didn't quite get there. For a 95.5, you rye, this is still, it's not, you know, it's got a little pepper, a little clove, yeah. you know, a little allspice, baking spice, but it's really not. Super eff effervescent. Yeah, it's not super or, herbal, minty. Mm -hmm. It's not super peppery. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't have the bite of like the winter mint. It's mm -hmm. all of the, like it does have those, what some people describe as like pine needles, forest. A little. You know, that type of stuff. But, but it's very... It, 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 yeah, I wouldn't guess this a 95.5 either. No. It's sort of pulled down more into um, the barrel notes, really. Mm. It's got a lot of nice oak on it. Mm -hmm. I think it's just like the way rise will, you know, kind of prickle like the back of your tongue. Mm -hmm. um, it, it lets you know that it is a rye, but not that it's such a high percentage rye, I think. Which I think, you know, scares some folks off, especially if they're new to the rye game. Mm -hmm. But I think this one it would be really nice. You know, obviously we're sipping it neat, I'm enjoying it, but this could definitely stand up in a cocktail because it has oh, yeah. that. I like those know, darker notes, yeah. Yeah, it has those notes that could come through, but it, it's mm -hmm. not gonna take over completely. And exactly, I was gonna say that the, you won't confuse this as a high rye bourbon, but I also don't think you would guess it as a 95.5 mm. if you didn't know. Ooh, and it's, I've had three sips now, I think, maybe four, I don't know. Uh, it's nice, settling in really nice. It, yeah, I, I do like, <laughs> like clockwork. I also, right when you were saying, I'm like, hey, mm. it's starting to spread out into the chest. Now it does take, uh, I'm pretty sure I've had three sips. Ooh, it's warming me but up. But that 95 proof is doing a very good job, punching above its weight class, let's say that. Spreading out into the, some some nice uh, some nice chest feels. I have to say, for thirty five dollars, yeah, I think this is an 
a great product for $35. I mean, this isn't an uncorking where we do recommend or not. It's a short and sweet, but if it I'm was, still gonna give it a recommend. I would buy this for drinks all, all day. Uh, absolutely. And also, if you were wondering uh, about Green River, they're in Owensboro, and that's how it's pronounced here in Owensboro. Kentucky. It's not Owensboro. Yeah, even you may be pronouncing the borough. Yeah, I, I, I'm Owensboro. I'm churching it up a little bit for camera. It's Owensboro. Yeah. And then also the cool thing about this bottle, the fact that it is a horseshoe here on. Are we gonna the bottom, play the game? Is uh, you can get this is official Green River um, coin, but this also works with quarters. Do it. You put it here. You can see that. Yeah, you can see it. Maybe pull it more towards you. There you go. And you give it a little flick. And it doesn't, it should go. It should go right. Right. There's Ching. a notch. Ching. Yeah, which I missed. So I'm gonna have to keep practicing You're gonna that, have to get it on the B-roll so you can show them. Yeah, I'll get on, I'll get it on that B-roll. <laughs> we'll make it look like you got it the there first you go. time. Um, but hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, Green River. Until next time, drink more rye.